game is Williams. Venus Williams holds on, and the tiebreak is going to decide the second set, and maybe six games old. If Spring wins it, the match. Set Martina Navratilova coming up against Gisela Dulco of Argentina. The uh, remarkable return to Wimbledon singles of the Grand Dam, Martina Navratilova. This is one to Williams, and uh, we're now at the point in the match when this crowd, this full house in center court, is breathing with every swing of the racket. You can feel the tension, the drama. in strength and timing and power by a 19-year-old Croatian. And in speed, stays low. She's not scared to move forward. Makes no mistake with the volley. Keeps her racket head in front. And you can just hear how hard they're hitting the ball. Late in the second set. This is what we've seen from the very first game. Two on Miss Williams. Good jammer by Venus. Who again has had a good serving day, but Sprem has timed those returns so well. Very rarely has she not been able to get out of the way to take a good swing at it. Gambling a little bit more off that second serve. The chair umpire made a mistake yeah, before. Yeah, he's confused. He said two all. What was that? When about? it wasn't, yeah. it was a second serve, and it's three one Venus. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, they got it. Or do they? No, they don't. They don't. They're serving to the wrong side. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe both players. 4-2, oh! Miss Williams. It's not 4-2. It's really 4-1. It's not 4-2. This is, this is the most remarkable thing. that I, This is a center court match at Wimbledon, the number three seeds in action, and the umpire has got the score wrong. But the players haven't said anything. You think at least one of them would have realized what the score was and complain. It's shocking. Shocking. The score is 4-2 because that's what the official says it is and both players have accepted it. It's, in, it's, in reality, it's, it's only 4-1. Exactly. 5-2, Ms. Williams. Williams has got a 5-2 lead. I don't know whether to tell you what the, the true score is or what the umpire's well, calling we gotta it. we got to go with the umpire's got score. To. It's amazing at this level we'd have a mistake like that. Never seen this before, ever. Five three Miss Williams. Neither player is even saying, well, you know what? What is going on here?
Double false against three Miss Williams. Venus Williams. Set points. Scrum comes back with a winner. And the official score is 6 4. 6 4, Miss Williams. Not the correct score. But the one we have to go by right Thank now, you. two more set points. Let first. That point. Six, five, Miss Williams. Two points against Venus Williams' serve. And now we're back on serve, still set point. Set Williams off the forehand into the net. The score is 6-6. Six, six. Six. Well, change ends. And if you could see my broadcast partner, Mary Jo Fernandez, her hand, her hands <laughs> are on her head. This is the, this is unbelievable. It is, this is the wildest tiebreak I've ever seen. From again, two points from this match. Oh, oh it falls back on Venus's side. So close, Seven, top of the net. Spread. Match point now to Carolina Spren. 19 years old from Croatia against the number three seed and a woman that has played in four straight Wimbledon finals. Thank you. Most incredible, improbable finish to a match of such huge significance in tennis terms. Carolina Sprem a 19-year-old Croatian. I mean, I don't know. Well, I think what really just took us by surprise was the mistake in the tiebreak by the chair umpire. And when they look back, especially Venus on this tiebreak, she will notice that the umpire gave Sprem an extra point. And remember, she had 6-3. Anyway. In the tiebreak anyway. But it should have been 6-2. Huge upset. Venus Williams, been to the finals the last four years. Ted Watts, big mistake in that tie break. But Venus, of course, a champion, head up high as she walks off the center court. There are so many stories uh, at Wimbledon every year because there are so many hours of great tennis that have been played even 
with the rain delays that we've had so far at Wimbledon this year, but nothing is more startling. There, there's nothing that is going to cause...